for Huru. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, before we get started, guys, make sure you go to DynastyMirror.com. Again, go to DynastyMirror.com. Uh, subscribe to our, join our email list so you can stay up to date with what's going on with Dynasty Mirror. Also, buy some merchandise while you're there, books, other merchandise while you're there as well. Also, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the content. Again, like, share, and subscribe. That would really mean a lot. We, uh, we really appreciate your support. Uh, today's topic, we're going to be dealing with real estate in Nigeria, but also too, because I've been asking this for the past four or five years. How do I invest in the Nigerian stock market? Okay, so we're about to clear all of that up for you guys. So uh, stay tuned. But I have my sister Taiwo uh, on with us today and brother Shekte as well, who's going to be uh, discussing uh, stocks, which, again, I've been trying to figure that part out in Nigeria for years. Because I've been wanting to get some Dangote stock, but I just didn't know how to go about it. So, Taiwo, go Hi. ahead. So, hello. I'm oh, fine. Nice to be back on your show. Oh, bring you more, bringing more opportunities to our people. Yes. You know, <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, Brother Shete, if you could uh, introduce yourself. Chete. Okay, my name yeah. is um, good. Good one. My name is Chete Chete Wanze. Um, I'm the COO and executive director of Icon Stock Brokers Limited here in Nigeria. Okay. All right. So, uh, Tao, go ahead. So, yeah. Global African Investors Alliance. You have been very busy. You've been making strategic partnerships all over Nigeria. You are the hardest working woman in <laughs> Nigeria right now. So tell people, tell everybody what you do over at Global African Investors Alliance. Okay, so uh, Global African Investors Alliance <laughs> is um, a company that is working uh, very hard to bring uh, people, you know, back home uh, to offer opportunities to, you know, Black and African Americans, you know, in the diaspora to, you know, come back home and invest back home. Either you want to invest in real estate or in land or in businesses, uh, we offer quite a few opportunities, you know, for, for people to do that. And, um, you know, we've got to quite a few, uh, a lot of things in the pipeline, which I can't really, really reveal too much at this point in time, but we've got a lot of our people, you know, uh, very enthusiastic and investing, you know, on the continent. Um, I know that... Um, a lot of our investors have been asking me for a long time, how can I get involved in the Nigerian stock market, Nigeria, you know, um, um, investments, you know, buying bonds and shares. Everyone's talking about then go to this, then go to that. And, um, you know, it took some time for us to find the right company, you know, to work with. Oh, it just dropped out. They dropped uh, out. Where did yeah. you yeah, it took us some time to find the right company to, you know, to engage with, you know, and, um, um, and you know, thankfully we found somebody, you know, a company that is well established in Nigeria. They've been, you know, in the uh, business for the past 40 odd years. They are actually the second, you know, oldest stock brokers in Nigeria. So they've been around from, you know, pretty much the moment Nigeria, you know, was um, was um, was put in place. So um, for anybody that is interested in buying shares of Nigerian companies, Nigerian, you know, brands, you know, this would be the the right company to 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 deal with uh, with your um, with your purchases. So I'm just going to introduce uh, Chete Mwaze, who is uh, the CEO of Icon uh, Stock Brokers. And um, he will be able to, you know, run through uh, what it means to invest in Nigerian stock markets and uh, introduce to us not only the Nigerian stock market, but also the, the market in general on the, on the continent of Africa. So, for example, if you're looking to buy shares, maybe going on in South Africa or Kenya, you can, you know, go through his, um, his, um, his, his firm to purchase those shares. So, um, Chete, I'm just going to leave it to, you know, leave it to introduce yourself, your company, and um, yes, go ahead. 
Hello, Jete? Is it frozen? Uh, it might be. It might was, be frozen again. You, can hear us, you might need to cut off your camera. You know, cut, let me cut off the video. Then just we'll just hear your voice. Yeah. The thing is that in Nigeria, you know, right now is the is the raining season. So a lot of uh, connection is can be a little bit, you know, shaky sometimes. So again. Good yeah. everyone. Okay, there we go. Can you hear me? Yeah, 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 sure thing. Can you. yeah we can hear you. Uh, if you if you could do us a favor, Chef Day, if you could okay. cut off your camera. And we'll just hear your voice because it's just let me try and do that. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Okay, go ahead. Okay, Shete, you there? Is that uh, go, go ahead. Let's see how it you're kind of going in and out. We can't hear you. Yeah. You might have to perhaps log out and then log back in. Yeah. We can't hear you. Yeah. So very important information. <laughs> very, very important. Uh okay. Yeah, you might you might need to log out then log back in. Stop. Yeah, you go in and out. Uh, sure thing. Hmm. All right. He, uh, he, yeah. Okay. Cool. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, hopefully he'll come back on, guys, and hopefully we can have a have the conversation. Everyone. Yeah. Again, this is something I've been trying to figure out for the past four or five years. So. <laughs> I mean, the way I, I'm not sure if you are you part of the, an investment firm in uh, in the USA. Me personally, no. Well, you know, in America now they have it where you can buy these apps. Yeah, Robinhood. You have another app called. Uh, there's apps you buy on your phone, and you just yeah, you know, yeah, th yeah. Th those those ones are for you know people who just want to like get coffee grabbers and just go. You know, right. but I'm talking about really investment firm where you register and you are able to um, you know go on live. You know what is trading live, and then pick up which shares you can buy straight away. Because with those apps, they pretty much. You give them the, your, your money and then they invest in various, you know, shares, different kind of markets. They don't really tell you in details what shares you've, you've got. It's literally various markets. Okay. Um, um, however, when you are part of a firm like the Icon Stock Brokers, you can go live and see the stocks that are being traded and for how much. For example, I want to buy... Um, you know, before the Black Panther came out, so I was very clever. I knew that Black Panther was going to be a bomb. So I went in quickly to my, you know, my firm. I bought quite a few Black um, Disney shares. Okay. Yeah, you're able to do that. You buy, yeah, you can see exactly how much the shares are going for. You know, you buy, you buy whatever, how many you, you want to buy. And you, you pick, you literally, you pick your own specific shares. So okay. your own specific um, companies to invest in. You don't. 
Well, 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 see, with uh, I know with Robinhood, you can pick your own shares. And I think like Acorns, they have like, I think it's like an ETF where it's like a group of companies you just invest in are, right. are not company. Yeah, a group of companies are industries. A group of right. I think Acorn is you invest in specific industries. But Robinhood, you can actually uh, buy shares of a company. And then, uh, uh, no, people are asking in the chat room, day trading. For people that day trade, is that possible with the Nigerian stock market? Or right, we just gotta wait for Shete to I mean day trading, unless you are you are experts in, in that in that area, day trading is not for for people who are um, who are not actively in front of their screens and just just doing you know trading in the one minute to another, one second right. to another. I think that day trading is um I personally, I don't, I don't get myself involved in the day trading. I rather just buy the shares because when you buy shares, I mean, I buy the shares and I just sit on it. I forget about it. Uh -huh. It's not to to sell, you know. As Warren Buffett say, said, if you're not uh, able to invest your money for for one week, you don't don't you know? Sorry, for what for ten years, don't bother investing at all. So uh, this kind of thing is mostly for those who just want to pack your money in the in the in the shares. They just forget about them for the next ten years, and then you know. Yeah, Michael says, "Do not do day trading. It's literally gambling." Well, that's absolutely, yeah. absolutely, absolutely, it's gambling. It's gambling. So okay. Well, hopefully, Shete uh, gets back on with us so we could mm -hmm. have this conversation. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you're you're welcome, uh, Miss Williams. You are welcome. Like I said, I I've been trying to get this info for years, so uh, <laughs> there's, no, there's no blockage. You know, we can continue to have Yeah, yeah. I mean, at the moment, you know, some of the um, the 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 shares that I will you know advise people who are interested in investing in Nigerian stock market would be the banks ones like uh, you know Zenith Bank you know uh, UB um, Fidelity Banks all the banks ones are very very good and they're doing very very well at the moment mm -hmm. um, also obviously the Dangote um, shares Sugar Cement the Waco ones uh, MTN uh, Jumia, those ones are really, really, you know, doing very, very well at the moment. Did Jumia, didn't Jumia go under, or is Jumia still? No, no, it's still, yeah, they're still going. Yeah. Really? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, Shete, yeah. are you there? Shete? Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah, we hear yeah. you now. Hopefully, hopefully it stays this way. We hear you now. Go ahead. I can hear you. me. Yes, we hear you. Yeah, we I hear, can you. hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, yeah, we can. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. We just. Oh, I, I don't know how much how much you heard. I didn't know when I got uh, cut off. So let me just start talking about the. Uh, the returns on the end so exchange from 20. Uh, Ch Chete, you need to start from the beginning. We didn't hear anything at all. You need to start from the beginning. Hey, hey Chete, let me ask you this Is there any way you go to another location? Because I mean, we really want to hear this information, but your connection is just, it's, it's just, it's I not got from, from the ASEA, which is the African Stock Exchange. Yeah, I don't okay. think it's... Hey, Shete, Shete, is there any way you could go to another location? Because I want people to get this information and we can't we can't hear you and you're going in and out. Is there any way you could go somewhere that has a clear signal? Hmm. Tell what's the what's what's Gaia going on public? Gaia is going 
got a lot of things going on popping a lot. No, a lot. Like, what is that going public on the stock market? The Nigerian oh, public. public. Yeah, why not? Wait and see. Wait and see. Uh -huh. We are going public at some point. Mm -hmm. And uh, people in our circle who would be able to buy, you know, to have access to the IPO. Right. So, yeah, we, are, we will go public. That's part of the plan at some point. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, Chef Dave, you could go to a, I guess, a location with a better, with a clearer signal, because I just, I really want people to hear this information. So, for now, for people who are interested in um, in uh, getting in touch with uh, with Chete and myself to invest in in the Nigerian market, you need to, you can send an email to. I um Gaia at iconstockbrokers.com. I'm gonna, you know, get somebody to put it on there right now. So it's Gaia, G-A-I-A -A at iconstockbrokerslimited.com. Somebody in the chat room said, the old school paper pushers who type with their forefingers do not want to go digital. They are dinosaurs, and until they leave, it's rough to go digital. People are reluctant to change, or is that what you're saying, Michael? I think that's in just about every organization. Yeah, yeah. Someone's asking, how much is the stock now? Which stock? Uh, I think they're asking uh, about Jumia. Jumia? Uh -huh. uh, well, hold on. Let me search that for you. It's in, uh, Tama, the link's in the chat room. Yeah, for some reason, I thought Jumia was going under. I, I read something about it. They got, they got sold out or uh, they weren't doing as good as expected. or Because Jumia is supposed to be like the eBay and Amazon. We're kind of like Amazon of... Yeah. Uh, I, mean, I heard they were... I mean, I don't know. I could be wrong. I mean, the last time I was in Nigeria, they were they were doing fine. They were kicking. Maybe... Okay. maybe Maybe what a part of the of their company wasn't working properly. Well, you know what? I think the original founders of Jumia sold Jumia a while ago. Right. I don't think it's no longer Nigeria. Was it night? It was used to be night. Yeah, I don't think it's no longer Nigerian owned. But I don't I don't know. Yeah, I, I, mean, I think that it's owned by um a group like, of foreigners. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I think it is hold by Google Finance. Yeah. So, guys, I apologize about the um, yeah. technical difficulties. I uh, apologize. Hopefully, we get the brother back on soon. Yeah, but uh, Jumia is is the like the amazon or ebay of africa yeah 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 pretty much yeah and it was founded by nigerians but i don't think it's no longer nigerian owned you see you see that that's that's a problem that is a problem we always we find something and then we we end up selling for you know uh, i mean this this is why you know the 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 african diaspora we need to you know focus on you know, coming back on and, and supporting our own, you know, be, our businesses. Because when I heard that it was sold, I was, you know, I was furious pretty much, you know. But. All right, somebody says Jumia has acknowledged having financial problems. Yeah, last time I read, they were having some some uh, some issues. Right. Uh, so. All right, so I, he, oh, he fell back off. He was in the queue, but he fell back off. <sighs> yeah, so what we'll do, we'll wait a couple more minutes.
Mm-hmm. Uh, hopefully he can get back on so we can, uh, you know, continue the conversation. Like I said, the conversation is very, 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 very important. So, yeah. Um, would you be able to share a um a phone um a sorry a an audio online? Would you be able to share an audio? Yeah. What do you want to What do you want to share? Because I yeah. can because it gave me an audio presentation you know earlier, so I can yeah. forward that audio. Yeah, yeah. Forward, it, forward it to me. I should okay. be able to share. It. I will forward it to you on WhatsApp. Okay. Okay. No, 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 okay. no, no. Forward your email. Email. Yeah, I can play it on my computer. Okay, okay. So I'm going to I'm going to freeze for a while, okay? I'm going to freeze okay. for a while. Are right, are you know what? If you want to sh- what works for you? Yeah? Okay. I was saying what works for let you? Me, you? Let, me, let me see if I can share it here. I'm not sure if I can, but let me see. Okay, if not just send a WhatsApp and I'll just go get my phone. I'll just play it next to the speaker. Okay. In fact, well, we could do that. Hold on, let me go around my phone real quick. Okay, did you send a WhatsApp? Yeah, I sent it on WhatsApp and I also sent it to your email as well. So Okay. Yeah, let me pull up WhatsApp. Good afternoon, everyone. Okay, let me I've been asked today by time. Uh, I want to give Can you guys hear that? On, um, the capital market in Africa, generally Nigeria specifically. A little bit about you know, you know, let me let me let me download on the email. Okay, okay. You see, I was I, I was for some reason I said no, well, let me just get his presentation in audio before for some reason it felt like something was gonna happen, you know. All right, here we go. Let's try this out. Good afternoon, everyone. I've been asked today by Taiwo to give a presentation on uh, the capital markets in Africa, generally, Nigeria specifically, and a little bit about capital market investment. Can you guys hear? Yeah. So I'll actually start from there. I'll actually start from uh, trying to define what the, the capital market is and, and some aspects of it. So on the the capital market includes capital market includes the stock market where investors buy and sell securities as shares or stakes in individual companies. The market is also used for trading of other instruments such as uh, government and corporate bonds and uh, government treasuries. You can think of the stock market as a safe and regulated auction house where buyers and sellers can negotiate prices and trade investments. Some basics about the market. Uh, Governments and companies come to the market to raise money in the form of bonds and shares. Governments mostly through bonds and individual companies through bonds and shares also. Uh, Individuals like uh, investors, uh, both um, institutional investors like the pension funds or head funds or retail investors like individuals or high net worth individuals uh, come to the market to invest money in these instruments to earn an interest or to earn a return. So money, money can be earned through interest. It can be earned also through capital appreciation 
on dividend payments. Uh, interest mostly from the bonds and fixed income market, and then the capital appreciation and dividend payments mainly from the equity side, which is shares. Uh, some, some instruments in the market, like I said before, are shares, bonds, treasury bills, and others such as uh, promissory notes, euro bonds, uh, preferential shares, etc. So you have different type of invest investors that have different investment horizons. So you have uh, long-term investments in the market where this is usually for a period of three, three years <coughs> or more. Uh, you can invest your money in these instruments and leave it for that period of time and get a periodical uh, return on, on your investment. Medium term investment is usually from one year, one to three years. And short term investments is usually below uh, one year. What do you need to invest in, in the equities market or in the stock market generally? You have to get a stock broker, you have to create an account, uh, you have to have the right information, which I'll be talking about more towards the end of the presentation. And then uh, you have to hope to make the best investment, you have to make the best investment decisions. So benefits of the stock market, uh, opportunities to earn returns on investments, access to safe and, and investment portfolios. Access to safe investment portfolios such as bonds and treasury bills. So now we we'll go to the African capital market. I, I get a lot of my I'm getting a lot of my information of the African capital market on the, the PwC review for 2019 and also from the African exchanges securities exchanges of uh, association. So let's talk about 2019. In 2019, in 2019, <coughs> excuse me. So in 2019, you had some exchanges that uh, had positive returns, some that had negative returns across the continent. Now I'm going to be talking about the AS, the all share indexes on that exchange. So I'll explain what they are after I tell you what the figure is. So the Nigerian Stock Exchange, for example, the All Share Index, which index, which is ASI, returned a negative 14.6%. The Nairobi Exchange returned a positive 18.7%, while the Johannesburg Stock Exchange returned a positive 11.4%. Let me explain what that means. So if, for example, you bought one share from every stock in these markets, just one share from every stock, this is what your return will be. So you bought, there are over 200 stocks listed in adjusted this exchange. For example, you bought one share from each of those companies, these are what your returns uh, will be. So what I'm trying to explain is you do not, you, you do not necessarily lose that just by investing on those exchange, exchanges, but we take uh, uh, the all share index as one of the indexes that we look at for the market. Uh, also, um, to dis discuss a little bit about different listings that were done and uh, debt instruments that were raised in these exchanges um, and the capitalization of these exchanges. Capitalization is the value of the exchanges. The capitalization is the number of shares times their respective prices will give the total capitalization of that particular of the exchange. So, as at the end of 2019, the capitalization of the Johannesburg Stock Exchange was over 100 billion, while the capitalization of the Nigerian Stock Exchange was at over 30 billion dollars. And the, um, the Kenyan Stock Exchange, Nairobi Stock Exchange, and the Ghanaian Stock Exchange were bought above six billion US dollars. So the listings that were done that uh, came to the market, these markets, I'll just identify a few of them. On the initial public offering side, which is the primary market transaction, this is when a company first gets listed on the on the stock exchange. 
they are coming actually to raise funds from the exchange. So the offerings are either by what they call an offer for sale. An offer for sale is when the owners of those shares, the owner of the company, the majority stakeholder is selling off some of the shares to the public for a return that comes to himself. So he's selling off, selling down his shareholding and getting, getting a return for that. Uh, so that's offer for sale. There's also something called an offer for subscription. The offer for subscription is when there's an increase in the number of share uh, shareholding. And um, what happens is uh, new shares... Hey, shit, Dave. We're, actually, we're playing your uh, yeah. audio. We're, we're playing your okay, audio. I can hear. Okay, okay. I can all right. hear. Do, do you want us to continue to play this audio or...? No, you can go ahead. I'll take questions afterwards. You can go ahead. Okay, okay. Uh, quoted uh, by the company, and those shares are actually used for specific functions within the company. Uh, and I increase in capitalization, uh, sometimes for the structuring the debt profile, those sorts of things. So some of the IPOs that were listed uh, this in the year 2019, were multi-choice that was listed on the Johannesburg Stock Exchange. Uh, this was the Johannesburg Stock Exchange at about uh, 600, sorry, sorry, Airtel that was listed on the London Stock Exchange and the Nigerian Stock Exchange uh, valued at about $680 million. You have the Jumia, uh, Jumia Technologies that was listed on the New York Stock Exchange. Uh, valued at over $200 million. And uh, Powery, which is a bank technology company that was listed on the Egypt Stock Exchange, valued at over $99 million. So some of the other listings uh, that came by listing by introduction, for example, uh, in, in Africa in 2019 was multi-choice. Multi-choice was listed on the Joint Book Stock Exchange. This is just when a company decides that, okay, I want to uh, be listed on a more regulated uh, system uh, to get more exposure to, uh, to the public. And so they will list on the exchanges. Um, MultiChoice was listed at about, valued at about $3 billion on the Johannesburg Stock Exchange. MTN Nigeria was also listed on the Nigerian Stock Exchange and valued at about $5 billion. So now on the fixed income side or on the bond side, uh, I'm going to speak specifically about three major type of bonds that some were new to the markets, to the African market, uh, and some just shows globalization and uh, the African continent uh, joining the finance uh, movement, the financial world movement. So um, we'll talk about green bonds. Green bonds are bonds that... Uh, environmentally friendly bonds that uh, the proceeds help companies to reduce their carbon footprint. So in Nigeria, there was, it, the first green bond was listed in Nigeria in 2019, valued at 41 million naira, at 41 million dollars, sorry. Uh, and that was the Access Bank green bond. And in, in Kenya, there was the North-South Power green bond listed at 2.5 million dollars. The Johannesburg Stock Exchange actually has the largest value of listed green bonds in Africa, valued to probably at, valued at about $400 million. Then the blue bond. The blue bond are bonds that proceeds are used for marine and uh, fishery projects. So the Republic of uh, Seychelles uh, was the first in the world to list a sovereign government, a sovereign uh, blue bond. They were actually backed by the World Bank and uh, they, they raised about $15 million. Social bond. Social bond. Uh, the first social bond uh, was raised in Mauritius that same year, 2019. Um, the social bond actually helps for financial inclusion, job creation, those types of things. And uh, they raised $260 million. Uh, now, on the Nigerian market, for the Nigerian market, I'm going to talk uh, basically about the year to date for today. 
year to date up to up to today uh, 20, year to date 2020 for some of the sectors uh we can start uh, we can start with um sorry one second on the equity side so on the equity side you can look at uh, financial services sector the financial services sector it returned about 20 percent negative 20 percent uh of course we, can, we will expect that because of the current situation in the country and if you compare it year on year, you you see that uh, year to date in that particular sector was higher, for example, in 20, 2019. Now, regardless of this capital loss in that sector, you the the sector has the highest dividend yield. Uh, so it's returning between 12 and 14 percent averagely. So uh, Zenit Bank, for example, Zenit Bank is doing about 15%. United Capital is doing about um, 14%. In the industrial goods sector, uh, you have a positive year to date, even given the, the COVID situation. Co positive year to date, uh, year to date return, which is about 4% right now. And you have a dividend yield of the likes of Dangote. Dangote cement at about 14%, 12%. Um, and you have WAPCO, West African Portland Cement Company. You have that at about 5%, sorry, 9%. On the consumer's goods section, you have a year to date of a negative, very, very high year to date, year to date of a negative 30%, and dividend yields of about 9 to 5 to 9%. So I'll get to some graphs showing how you can um, watch these stocks, put them on your watch list, uh, get recommendations of when to buy, when to sell, when to hold. I'll get into all that. Uh, on the income, on the fixed income markets, you have your term deposits, treasury bills, commercial papers, FGN savings, savings bonds, FGN bonds, FGN Federal Government of Nigeria bonds, uh, Euro bonds, and promissory notes. So on the treasury bill side, treasury, the average treasury bills, uh, as of last week, as of last week I checked, is about 3.5% for a one-year 364-day uh, treasury bill. Uh, other bonds include the government, uh, federal government savings bonds. These savings bonds are two and three year bonds. They are offered every month. Uh, they, they are trading, their the yields are between three to five percent. Uh, other government, federal government bonds are the longer term bonds, five to like ten years, with an average yield of about 11.5 percent. Then on the federal government side, still, you still have the promissory notes. These are promissory notes uh, that uh, are traded and backed by the DMO, by the federal government. It's traded at about 7.5% averagely. And then you have euro bonds. The euro bonds are both corporate bonds and federal government bonds. So you have Access Bank that has one, that Fidelity has a, a euro bond. Uh, these euro bonds are bonds that are domiciled in dollars. You buy your bonds in dollars and your coupon payments are also paid in dollars. Well, a lot of um, foreign institutions and foreign, foreign clients use them for us to hedge against uh, forex risk. Now, of course, commercial papers. Commercial papers are, are instruments that are raised by the instruments that are raised by corporates, public companies, mostly corporates. Uh, their yields are about eight percent. So some advantages of the capital market. One, there are no barriers to entry or exit. You can enter at any time and exit at any time within the purview of your, of your instruments that you're buying. There's no minimum requirements. There's no minimum capital requirement. This is with regards to the equities market. You can start with what you have and what you grow. Uh, good returns on investment. Some stocks can give up to 40% annual returns in form of capital appreciation. 
available and good advisors who will guide you on your investment journey. These are the advantages of the Nigerian capital market. I can stop brokers. Like I said, I I have been at Icon Stock Brokers now from since 2008. I am the Chief Operating Officer as well as the Executive Director. Um, Icon Stock Brokers has been in existence since 1962. Uh, it has been corporate in 1962. The second oldest stock broker firm. The name changed to Icon Stock Brokers from Icon News Limited in 1973. Uh, our presence on the exchange is, uh, yeah, there's a long history of the exchange. We were very instrumental in listing a lot of the uh, instruments listed on the exchanges and uh, on the fixed income side as well as the equity side. Uh, our services include stock broking, financial advisory, equities and bonds trading, and wealth management, wealth management, investment management. Um, our experience. So I'll just list a couple of our local clientele base. Uh, we do have over over a thousand retail clients. Uh, it's a few hundred managed accounts, but we've, we've done transactions with the likes of uh, Shell, Shell Close PFA, CPFA, uh, Bureau, the Bureau for Public Enterprises. And all the institutional clients locally, a few PFAs are signed on with a few PFAs also. And on the, the international clients we've dealt with are, are mostly hedge fund managers in the US. But what I'd like to discuss next is actually our own profile, our own fintech platform. So I call stock brokers. We partnered with one of the fintech providers here in Nigeria in the capital market. We have signed on with Global Tribe. I would like to show you some of the things that you can do. Once you open an account with Icon Stock Brokers, you will have, you will have access to, to the profile I'm showing now on, on, the, on the screen, the profile I'm showing on the screen. Okay, I'm showing it now on the screen. Um, so once you log into this screen, it's our E-Trade portal. There are a few things you can see. First and foremost, during the trading period, you'll be able to trade real time, less about five seconds. You to trade real time, you can buy your, you can buy stocks, you can sell stocks, you will see your portfolio online. At any time you log on, you see the value of your portfolio at the close of business, whatever price is, is available there. Um, you can do your own research. For example, I'll show you. Um, this is my watch list. So once you open your watch list, uh, these are just some of the stocks I just arbitrarily uh, threw in there. So let us look at uh, Dangote Cement, for example. Dangote Cement. So Dangote Cement icon, you get some information on it, and it will bring down some information from the stock itself, just give me a second, it's pretty. So this gives you a bit of information. You can look at the scorecard here, and it tells you, it says, it talks about the earnings grade, earnings growth grade, it talks about performance grade, fair value to price grade, quality, price trend, and then it gives you the recommendation. So the medium term outlook, the very last one with the plus sign there, tells you whether to buy, sell, or hold. Uh, this stock right now is on a buy recommendation. There are different algorithms that are used for this, for this uh, research analysis. Um, so you can do this with any stock. You can see, you can look at 52 week high and 52 week low pricing. Uh, you can just get a watch list together. You can just ask for recommendations from here. You can do everything yourself. You can see what's going on in the market yourself, and um, it will be it will be a good asset to have by the time you do start that start trading. So, with all that, I'd like to take any questions. Um, thank you very much. Okay. All right. Let me. Uh, let me. Okay. That's the end of that. All right. Shit day, uh, guys. Any questions in the chat room? Fingers crossed. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> 
All right, so I think a lot of some people had their question was the uh, platform. I guess you were using, but we couldn't see because it was audio. Yeah, um, how can they access that platform? Access to the platform. Whatever platform you were using. Once you sign up. Okay, I believe it's uh, called, I called can e my thing. Can you hear me? You're going in and out. You still can't hear me. Well, you're you're better now, but you were gonna go in and out. But go ahead. Okay. So the 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 plat the platform is my e trade platform. Uh, I give it. I give access to it to my clients. Um, if a few people are ready, you know, to, or, or like to try it, I can give a few people, you know, on this group access at a time. I could maybe make about five or six uh, access available uh, to uh, to to members of this of this group. So uh, I, once you log on, you have access to trend analysis. You have access to fundamental analysis. You have access to recommendations. You see the market live. Less about five seconds. Uh, it's a very good tool. Global Tribe is like they're actually doing quite a good job here in Nigeria. Um, so I can give access to anybody that needs it. I, I'll do like five for the group. Okay. So for people who are interested in uh, buying, you know, shares, you know, such as the ones you mentioned, Tangote. So once they register on your platform, they have access to purchase. They have access to see live different kind of companies that they can buy from? Yes, that's correct. So once we once you sign on with me and uh, we set up your, give you your access to the to the E-Trade uh, portal, you can see all the stocks trading live. Uh, we can, we can um, give you recommendations, set you up. If you do not understand the markets uh, too much or investment analysis too much, we can give you recommendations and tell you what our algorithms were based on and uh, give you decent recommendations to, to know what to purchase or sell. Now, once you purchase, um, in order to purchase, you have to have monies in your in-house account with us. So you can pay directly to one of the, the local banks here in Nigeria. You can transfer directly to one of the local banks here in Nigeria, or you can, you can do what is called uh, um, uh, importation of capital, a uh, CCI. It's called a, uh, Currency capital importation, where whatever you you can bring your your funds in through the central bank rates, and so what that does is it gives you a certificate that you brought it in this route, so that when you're going out, you you will take your money out the same route. What this helps is to help with the forex uh, fluctuations in foreign exchange. So this will help you stabilize those issues. Okay. Okay. Are there any questions on the on the platform, um, Dinas? That uh, who... uh, let's see here. Uh, are are any um, African airlines publicly traded? Uh they used to be. Uh, Barca airline. It, it, it was. It used to be traded, but it's it's been delisted. So right now, there's no airline traded on the Nigerian ex, uh, the Nigerian stock exchange. However, uh, Kenyan Airways is traded. On the on the Nairobi Stock Exchange, and I believe South African is traded on the uh, South Johannesburg Stock Exchange. Okay, uh, let's see here. Are they trading with your money or their money? That's the clients. Uh, yeah, the yeah. I don't get that question. It's your you're you're putting your money in clients, right. so you're trading with your money. Yeah, I I, I don't know why I haven't asked that question. All right, uh, uh, let's see here. How do we get started, and how much can we start with? Okay, so what you need to do, I have a colleague in uh, in here right now. He's, he's supposed to be streaming or, or posting our website. Uh, Taiwo can also send that to to the group. So once you get on the website, you can ask, you can get uh, access to the online account opening document. Uh, the website is iconstockbrokersltd.com, but Taiwo will, will put that up there. Uh, once you once you have your account set up, there's something called KYC. You know your client is. Uh, Securities and exchange worldwide yeah. regulation. We have where you have, yeah, they have it all over the world. So proof of residence, proof of uh, uh, proof of identification. You know, uh, once you once that is done, I do not have a minimum. You know, I'm looking to really enter the retail space, and that's why we invested in fintech. 
That way I know that my clients will be able to, I don't, they don't need me directly unless there's really an issue or they want me to manage their funds themselves. So I don't have a minimum. Um, once you can open the account, we can have you set up with a, a bank, you know, a way for you to transfer funds over here. Um, there's no minimum. There's no minimum. Okay. All okay. Right. I, I know. I know. That, another question. I know that some of the services that you offer is uh, wealth management. So uh, let's say that maybe a client has got maybe ten thousand US dollars, and they want you to, you know, invest in various markets for them and monitor the growth uh, for them. Is that some? Is that is that kind of service that you offer as well, or do people have to do all these things themselves once they are on your platform? So, so our wealth, man wealth management uh, service is just exactly what you just said. Uh, we will manage the funds. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll do it uh, discretionally. So we'll, we'll just be giving you your reports on a periodic basis. If you want it every week, if you want it uh, quarterly, monthly, we'll give you that. Uh, we do not give guaranteed yields. There are no guaranteed yields, uh, but you will have to, uh, you'll have to trust that, you know, we, we will do, we'll manage it well. And since we're going to be doing periodic uh, reviews with you, you'll be able to decide, okay, I, I want to stop now or, you know. Um, but what I tell people, since you're getting the recommendations, uh, of course, it's a fee to me. I mean, if I'm managing your account, I'm going to charge the fee. But it's a lot easier with, with, with FinTech. It's a lot easier for you to do. And I'm also small enough that I'm hands-on. So if we get the recommendations, you can still give me a call or send me an email yo look is this okay uh do you do you do you think we should go ahead and do it or what are the private mo price movements now you can call me and ask me and i can do that but yes i do i do uh wealth management also for high net worth individuals or individuals that really just don't want to be bothered with it with uh, managing their funds okay uh so go ahead, ahead. Go ahead. So somebody's asking what, what what fees what kind of fees do you charge Okay, so on every transaction, there are regulatory fees and there are uh, stockbroker commission fees. The total of all is about 2.25%. Now, the only thing that is negotiable is the stockbroker fees. That's my fees because I can't control what you pay to SEC or the Nigerian Stock Exchange or the clearing houses. So I, the maximum I can charge by law is 1.35%. Um, so it is negotiable. So we can have a discussion along those lines. Okay. It is negotiable. Yeah, but I, th I think it's fair. Obviously, guys, if you're trying to invest just, uh, you know, a, a small amount, don't try to come in here and try to negotiate the fees. Let's, let's be fair, everyone. You know, mm -hmm. now if you're trying to invest hundreds of thousands and thousands upon thousands, then you're going to negotiate. I guess that's fair. But don't come in here trying to negotiate and you're trying to invest $100. I mean, come on now. That's me. Um, Chete, uh, one of the yeah. questions that one of my um, contacts have actually asked me is that we've been hearing in the West, you know, for a while now that the pension system is about to collapse because they've taken so many risks, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, if somebody in the West wants to transfer their pension funds and bring it to Nigeria, you know, being, you know, obviously Africa is the future. Um, is that possible to do the transfer from a firm here in the UK or in the America to transfer it to Nigeria and for you to manage for them? Uh, definitely. So, so the, 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 is, is a twofold answer. So the, the pension fund administrators here in Nigeria um, also have the capacity to manage those funds. Um, they are a lot more stringent with, with, with their, their funds. And um, so I have about four or five different, that's ICON, we have about four or five different PFAs that we trade for. PFA is pension fund administrators that we trade for. And so what they do is they manage the funds and they give a return uh, at the end of the year. Averagely, uh, they've had a couple of bad years, but about 10 to 12% averagely, uh, sometimes more. Um, they, they are really they, they were really skewed to the fixed income market because there's a, obviously less risk and returns were very high in the fixed income market a few years back you're talking 18 percent 
So now, now that rates are coming down, they're you know they're dabbling in the equities market a little bit, and they're doing a lot of infrastructure uh, uh, transactions. You know, even we ourselves we're trying to set up. I have, we're trying to set up a diaspora infrastructure fund also. So um, the PFAs are is easy to, for you to to bring your money to Nigeria, register with a PFA, and the PFAs have stockbrokers that they use to manage those funds. Mm, okay, fantastic. The uh, question is, is the E-Trade for the USA or the international version? I'm not sure what that means, but you can access it from the US. Okay, yeah. You can it's, access it's, it, yeah. You can access it uh, anywhere. It doesn't matter the IP address. You can access it. Uh, internet. It's cloud-based, so it's hosted. It's cloud-based, and uh, there's no issue. I have I have a couple of clients in the U.S. that actually trade through it. Oh, and there's another question. How does one go public uh, in Nigeria? What's the process as far as going public if you have a company in Nigeria? So if you have a company in Nigeria and you have over 50 shareholders, you're automatically a public company. Uh, so you have two you have two exchanges. You have the Nigerian Stock Exchange, and then you have the over-the-counter exchange, which is like the NASDAQ in the US. It's called NASD, NASD. And these two, you can list on either of the two exchanges. The Nigerian Stock Exchange is a little more stringent than the than NASD. So a lot of people also list on the NASD. You can choose either one of them. So what you need to do to list on the on the Nigerian on the Nigerian Stock Exchange, for example, is to to uh, to, to contact a, a stockbroker um, and an issuing house. The issuing house is actually going to be the ones that will do most of the financial advisory and setting you up to go get your approvals from SEC and get your approvals from the NSC. So it's a long, it's a long drawn out procedure, but uh, it's, it's, it's done regularly here. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and get uh, signed up and go ahead and put my money in the stock market. I've been wanting to do this for years, so go ahead and count me in. Okay, brother, I appreciate it. Uh, no problem. No problem. Brilliant, brilliant. I know that you've been you've been asking for it for a while. The Dango yeah, tea. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I want to buy some Dango to your uh, stock. So okay, okay. So, yeah, you know, let me know what I need to do. I will. You I will. Make sure I'll that you email, email, email Gaia at Icon Stockbrokers Limited. Exactly. Icon okay. Icon Stock Bro Gaia at Icon Stock Brokers Ltd. So, yeah. com. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna you know get someone to put it there. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, uh, so what we'll do? Um, you know, any, anything else you'd like to share in closing, uh, Mr. Shreta? Um. Well, I firstly, I, I really appreciate the opportunity to have this uh, discussion. Thanks a lot, Taiwan. Thanks, uh, Amir. No, no um, I think I think one of the things that. Africans in diaspora can really do is to is to look for opportunities in infrastructural development. So, so we here in Africa are actually looking at putting together diaspora funds and having both foreign and local executioners of different transactions. I'll give you an example of what I'm saying. So I'm financial advisor to a to a coal mining power project, and I'm an advisor to a, uh, a coal mining project and a power generation project. I have those two projects going right now. It's been so difficult to raise funding. Uh, the, the, the companies that are, that, that are actually pushing these transactions in Nigeria are actually a, a foreign a minority owned Chicago company. Uh, uh, Millhouse. So they, they're here, they've raised some funding, and there's there's some funding gap. So I figured if we can put together a solid private equity infrastructure fund that the returns are decent, you know, 20, 25 percent uh, uh, returns, uh, that uh, that we, sh we, sh we should be good. So I, I'm hoping that, you know, this type of group can, you know, really consider looking at putting together in the collective sort of funds that will Give you higher returns and lower the risk because you would know who you are uh, uh, financing. Of course, of course, that can be definitely. I think that um, um, you know 
once you you've presented you know your company quite a few times you know on the on the platform then uh we can definitely go ahead and put together that kind of uh investment group okay. i think that's possible um somebody somebody asked earlier on do you are there any agricultural funds you know sorry agricultural stocks for people to buy you know, as I said, we can buy oil shares, we can buy government bonds. Are there anything linked with um, agricultural investments at all? So, yes, yes, there are. There are a couple of them. Uh, there's something, there's, a, there's one called Presco Oil. They do quite well. And Okomo Oil. Now, I'm, when I say oil, I'm talking palm oil. So it's agricultural produce. Um, and it's, they do industrial palm production. So they are listed. Uh, there's a there's a cocoa there's a cocoa uh, company also listed on the exchange. So some some are available. I didn't I didn't really talk about uh, the commodities market. We have a new commodities market that's just kicking up, and an older one that is not very active. Uh, so we're really back in the new commodities market that will trade uh, agricultural produce and uh, oil and gas currency that will, that will have derivatives on. On, on that exchange. So that's coming up is coming up also. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And those information would be available to those who um, sign up, you know, to your trading platform. Definitely, definitely. I can do I can put I can put uh, I can give information on this platform anytime there's anything new, I'll let you know if you maybe to you know okay. do another presentation or what. All right, cool. Well what we'll do uh, we'll go ahead and close out uh, Anything else you'd like to share in closing? Wow, thank you very much, um, Diana. So this is just um, an introduction uh, to the Nigerian stock markets. So um, I believe that um, you know maybe in a in a week or two, um, Chete can come back, you know, and um, you know do further presentation, you know, to the people because I think that. I mean, for me, it took me some time to understand fully how the stock market, you know, works. I actually had to go and take um, a course on stock markets to understand fully. So I, I reckon that uh, Chetty will have to come back quite a few times, introduce, represent, you know, so that people can, you know, fully understand what kind of investment it is. So, um, yes, again, you know, Africa is the future. Invest in land, invest in real estate, invest in, in, in businesses, you know, on the continent, and especially in Nigeria. Uh, Nigeria is the giant of Africa, it's still the giant of Africa. A lot of companies are, you know, coming in to invest, you know, big, big names like, um, you know, Zuckerberg, Bill Gates, unfortunately, and uh, other names are coming to Nigeria to invest. So, uh, we shouldn't be left out of the of the game. We shouldn't be left out. We should be involved in every single market that is going on on the on, sorry in Nigeria. So invest in land. You can do that through uh, our platform, Global African Investors Alliance. Uh, you can um, you know buy real estate. Um, now you have access to you know buying shares in several um, companies in Nigeria. So you know. This is your opportunity. Cool. So everyone, and, uh, Mr. Shete, thank you so much for joining us. It will definitely thank have you back. You. Just, just let me know. Yeah, no you know. problem. No, is, I will. I will. So everyone, thank you so much for joining. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you go to dynastymirror.com. Until next time, family, Dynasty Mirror search for Guru. Peace.